This animal was found in the Hell Creek Formation of South Dakota. It was about 66 million years old when it, when it died, so it was right at the end of the dinosaur age. This animal was about 30 feet long or so, we would think, and Valerie was probably about 9 or 10 feet tall at the hips um, when it was complete and running around in, in, in South Dakota way back when. We work on private property um, all across the western U.S., and so when we go out there, a lot of these properties are places that we've been before. So I was checking an area where I had vague recollections that, that uh, I had seen some, some bone chunks coming out before. Well, I, I, it came up on this little, this little rise that's maybe about two feet off of the valley floor. This one was really easy to get to and I walked by and I saw two Tyrannosaurus vertebrae sticking out of the ground at that point. So that was at 10 a.m. in the last day of my two week trip out there. And so I came back for only about a week turned around with another crew, came back out to the site and did more investigation. And that's when we started really finding bones. And by the end of the second trip, we had about 35 bones at that point um, that we had, we had found over a big area where we were just working at it with shovels and, and pokers, you know, little awl type things and wisp brooms and paintbrushes excavating. Uh, we got the max oh, yeah. uh, okay, so it's like, am I, am I just, Seeing phantoms, they got our orbit there. How does that look? So at our lab that we have here at the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center, we have a full-time staff that their job is basically to take these bones that we've discovered in the field and clean them up and get them ready for, for display or for research, and that's called fossil preparation. And you can come by just about any day of the week and look in the windows and see us working on all these dinosaurs. When we first uh, brought this animal in here, we thought, okay, cool, it's a Tyrannosaurus rex. And that was about all that we knew about the specimen. Then we started uh, working on the bones, cleaning them up, uh, and exposing the surface and looking at the details on them. And so there's various things that we can see from this animal. First of all, the bones aren't completely fused together. So we knew this animal was a juvenile. It was a, about a teenager sort of T-Rex. You know, not fully grown, not as big as it could get, but it didn't make it all the way to adulthood. Um, the second thing that we notice is it has pathologies on there, which is evidence of injuries that it incurred during life. Um, disease or injury can show up in, in a lot of bones. And so like on this uh, vertebra right here, it's got a puncture wound. It's got an extra prong of bone coming off where it shouldn't have. Something bad happened to this animal. We're not sure what happened to it, but, but it survived at least that bit of it. And um, we have evidence of that in these, in these bones. And the last thing is that when we look at these bones from the animal, it's got all kinds of gnaw marks on it from other animals that decided when this animal died, it was a good source of food. And so we can find evidence of predation and cannibalism on this animal from other meat-eating uh, dinosaurs um, from the time, including other T-Rex. I think knowing details about the, the specimens, like the, the little bits that we're able to glean out of this um, animal here, gives the animal context. It's not just a pile of bones. It's something that lived and breathed and died a long, long time ago. And we can almost do a little bit of detective or investigative work and piece together a bit of the life story of not only this animal, but the other animals that lived around it at the time too.